Over the last few years on my time being on YouTube and just me being into fashion, I have definitely bought a ton of stuff. Some of them being really amazing things and other items, not so much. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my best and worst designer purchases ever. These items that I'm gonna be mentioning in today's video, specifically the worst items ever, I still really do love those items, just not for me. I don't want this video to come off like super negative. I definitely just want it to almost kind of be kind of like a little rewind and just kind of, you know, really talk to you guys about like how my style evolved and my thought process now when it comes to shopping and investing in certain designer pieces. Not only am I gonna be talking about my worst and best designer purchases, but towards the end of the video, I also wanted to touch on some items that I regret getting rid of. I I've sold a lot of stuff in my time, again, being into fashion. But as time went on, I do wholeheartedly regret getting rid of some of those said things. So I'm also gonna be talking about that as well. Just like on my other fashion videos, this video right here will definitely be chatty and talkative. So grab a snack, sit back, relax, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. And do me a favor, if you aren't already, definitely be sure to follow me over on Instagram for kind of just like more daily updates, more daily fashion inspo and all that stuff. And without further ado, let's dive into these best and worst designer purchases. The first item up on my worst purchases ever, and this might come as a shock to you guys, it is the Prada Cloud Bus Thunders. When it came to those sneakers, I 100% believe that they were most definitely an impulse buy. I was seeing it all over social media at the time that it came out. You know, it was just trending. It was kind of one of those shoes. It was definitely a statement. It was a, it was a vibe. There are a couple of things about the Prada Cloud Bus Thunders that I feel like make them one of the worst purchases for me. The top complaint that I have about that shoe is the uncomfortability. Yo. I don't care what anyone says on social media. If you see someone wearing that Prada Cloud Bus Thunder, best believe they are uncomfortable. Those sneakers right there literally have no support. The bottom is basically just one big piece of block. I don't know, it's so, it's so uncomfortable. And not to mention the inside isn't lined well either. It's just like a thin piece of, you know, like a sole. There's there's no support at all. And the second thing that I wanted to mention about the Prada Cloud Bus Thunders is I feel like because they are such a unique shoe, for me, it was definitely hard to style with some of my other existing pieces that I had in my wardrobe. I would find myself really, really, really wanting to wear that shoe. And then when I would mix it into my more simple, minimal, kind of just like laid back style that I have, it just didn't work it was like clashing it was like super simple on the top and then that super 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 bold piece at the bottom i do think that that shoe looks really great on other people but for me personally and just kind of like where i'm at with my style it just didn't work unfortunately all right, so as I mentioned, the Product Cloud Bus Thunders were most definitely a impulse buy for me. With the new year being here, I want to stray away from doing that. I want to make sure that I'm investing my money in pieces that I know I'm going to love and hold on to for a really long time. And a online tool that I use to ensure that I'm doing that now is Shop Tiger. Shout out to Shop Tiger for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. If you guys are new here, Shop Tiger is essentially what I would like to describe as a online tool slash service that allows you to save items items, create wish lists, and Shop Tiger will let you know if and when those particular items ever go on sale. It's super easy to use and the best part is it's free. All you have to do is hop on over to shoptiger.com, save and download this little web browser extension. So when you guys are shopping on your favorite websites like Zara, Essence, Farfetch, you guys can go ahead and again, save items, categorize them, and Shop Tiger will notify you via push notifications or email if and when those particular items ever go on sale. Not only do they do that but shop tiger also has a couple new features as well where if you are shopping through the connected and affiliated websites through shop tiger at checkout shop tiger will scan the whole entire online web for additional coupons that are applicable to your purchase so not only are they letting you know if the item is on sale but they'll do the extra legwork as well to ensure you're getting the best deal by finding and scanning the web for more coupon code to apply to your purchase and another amazing thing that they do as well is they offer cash back now when you guys check out you will receive some cash back in your Shop Tiger account. As you guys can see on the screen, I have some cash back credit because I was like shopping through Shop Tiger. Not only are they notifying you when things go on sale and applying coupons to save you more money, they're also giving you more money to shop even more. I would highly encourage you to check out Shop Tiger. There will be the first link in my description box down below. Again, highly recommend. Much love to Shop Tiger for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. 
The second item up on the list might also come as a shock to you guys as well. When YouTube for me personally started kicking off and when I really started getting a nice steady paycheck from it, I treated myself to my first ever designer pair of sneakers, the Balenciaga Triple S's in the black and red and white colorway. Don't get me wrong, I personally still love the Balenciaga brand and the Balenciaga Triple S's as a shoe and again as a brand, but that specific purchase for me was not it. Not only did I get the wrong size but i feel like the black red and like dirty white off-white type of colorway for me just didn't sit well and didn't go with a lot of the neutral tones that i gravitate towards and as i mentioned i bought them in the wrong size they were way too big for me so when i would wear the balenciaga triple s's that specific pair my foot would be like sliding and you guys know if you own a pair of balenciaga triple s's it already is hard to walk in because they are so heavy so imagine you're basically walking on a brick like this. And then the fact that I got the wrong size and I was sliding as I was walking, it just it just wasn't it, even though it was a very sentimental and low-key monumental moment in my career because I was financially able to buy that for myself. I don't know, it was just definitely a bad purchase. And, and I just wish I did a little bit more research before I purchased my first ever Balenciaga Triple S. So the last item up on my worst designer purchases ever is the Jacquemus coin pouch. So I picked this up, I believe not last summer, but the summer before that. And just like kind of what I've been saying about the other things that I mentioned, I still love these brands as a whole. Like I love Prada, I love Balenciaga and I love Jacquemus. But with these worst purchases ever, I really do believe that I just kind of fed into the trends. And you know, I think as I get older and as I kind of have more of an understanding of who I am as a person, I don't do that anymore. One of the really big downfalls for me for the Jacquemus coin pouch was it was super impractical. It literally didn't fit anything. It would fit maybe credit card, my ID and some cash and a chapstick and that's it. And granted, you know, depending on where you're going, that's that might be all that you need. But for me personally, you guys know I'm always wearing some sort of bag and that coin pouch, I don't know what I thought I was doing, but I thought I was gonna be able to carry my phone, my keys, my wallet and like all that stuff in that little pouch and it just wasn't it. I definitely can respect the kind of like design aesthetic and aspect of it. I do think that it is an overall nice piece. Again, it's just a little impractical for me and for my wants and my needs. Now turning the leaf and kind of going into a more positive direction, I wanna talk about the best designer purchases that I personally have ever bought with my own money. So the first item up on the list that I wanna talk about in regards to the best things that I've ever bought is the Prada nylon hat. You guys already know what it is. You see me sporting that hat in almost every single video and low-key every chance that I can get to flex it on the gram, I probably will. It's just on that casual flex, you know, it's just one of those things that you could be wearing the most simple drip and then when you slap on that Prada hat with the nice little triangle logo type of vibe in the front, it's just, it's a banger low key. I don't, I honestly don't know what else to say. A top tip when it comes to like designer hats, especially hats that are made out of nylon, which is obviously like what Prada is known for. I personally like to leave my hat in the box that it came with. And I like to kind of fill it with either the stuffing that it came with, or I like to stack hats underneath it just to kind of make sure it maintains the shape. And that's a top tip for you guys if you're trying to extend and prolong the life of your designer pieces. So piggybacking off of one of my worst designer purchases, which was the Balenciaga Triple S in the black, red, and white colorway. I had my time with those, I sold them, and then after that, I didn't have any designer sneakers anymore. That is why I got this second best purchase ever, which is the Balenciaga Trax V1 in the all white colorway. So the way that the Balenciaga Trax V1s came about for me was I went on a trip to Vegas with uh, a bunch of my friends from high school. While we were in Vegas, we pulled up to the Balenciaga store, I tried it on and I was like, I need this shoe. There is a review on my channel and an unboxing and a full-fledged story time of that shoe on my channel. So go ahead and watch that. I'll leave it in cards and I'll leave it linked below as well. But nonetheless, I still to this day love my Balenciaga Track V1s. I personally have gotten so much wear out of those shoes. And I feel like with a really nice kind of like wipe down, it would, you know, it would look brand new again and it would kind of like restore its life. And I think that just goes to show that even though the shoe was expensive, I've had it for these years ever since it came out and it's still holding up nicely and I still grab 
gravitate towards it till this day. So the last best designer item that is on, again, like my best side of this list is the off-white bag that I just recently picked up for my work. So for those of you guys who don't know, I recently became a real estate agent and being a real estate agent is in addition to me doing social media and YouTube full-time. And that just happened recently. So with that being said, I was like, you know what? New job, new career, new vibes. So I need a new work bag. So that is where the off-white bag came into play. I personally love this off-white bag so much. It is so big. It holds all the stuff that I need for both of my jobs. Um, Cause I'm the type of person, like I carry a lot of stuff throughout the day because I'm not necessarily always on the go, but I just need a lot of stuff with me because each job kind of has its specific things that I need to carry. So I need a really big bag to again, house all those things. And I just love like the pop of like that really deep dark green that the actual bag has. I feel like it's something different for me without it being too bold. You can still wear it every day. And yeah, I just can't gas up that off-white bag enough. It's still available if you guys wanna check it out. And it also comes in a off-white color as well. So I'll have links to everything down below. So as I mentioned in my intro, I wanted to talk about some items that I regret getting rid of slash selling. So the first item that I regret getting rid of is my Balenciaga Explorer pouch in that very interesting yellow green bright yellow sort of color that pouch was such a vibe and I picked it up I believe a couple summers ago I got so much wear out of it and then a part of me like recently was just like no nah, like I should get rid of it because I wasn't really gravitating toward it because it is such a pop of color and I think ever since I sold it I regretted it I think like that nice pop from the Balenciaga Explorer pouch again in that very like vibrant almost highlighter color would have been so nice with my fits that I put together today so I'm just kind of sick that I got rid of it and if I do have a chance to pick up another one in either like a neutral color like a black a gray or like a white um, I probably will all right and then the last piece that I regret so much getting rid of is the Nike ACW Vomeros. I have a video on that shoe as well an unboxing a styling video and just like a talk through and like a review sort of deal bro those shoes were so nice and they were just so interesting until this day like i still don't know why i got rid of it i'm so upset as you guys can tell from the photos the b-roll clips all that stuff it was such an interesting shoe and i personally feel like it really complemented my style very well because it was one of those shoes that it was still neutral but it had its pops that didn't do too much with the block in the back and that really nice kind of touch of the rust like brown red color on the inside of the sole as you guys can tell i'm i'm flustered i'm flustered fam because i should have not not, I should have not sold those and now like when you try to go buy it it's like dumb expensive and I'm just not really trying to do that all right you guys and that is it for my best and worst designer purchases I kind of like this video I like the concept of like talking through fashion bits that I just regret and then also highlighting some things that I still like to this day and I would really recommend to you guys um so if you like this video definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content like this follow me over on Instagram it's my name at Stevie Solid a big thank you once again to the team over at Shop tiger for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel you guys know love them love their services so again check them out it'll be the first link in my description box down below much love again for watching and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace